I think when it comes to what artists need, um, we should probably be thinking more about local crowdsourcing. You know, if you look at the disruptive companies out there, they all kind of rely on this concept that we already have what we need, right? You need a ride somewhere, you don't need to call a cab, there's already someone going that way. You need a place to stay when you're going somewhere, you don't need to go to an expensive hotel, call Airbnb. You need someone to clean your house, you don't need a full-time cleaner, you can use an app and someone will be there in 10 minutes and they'll never come again. You know, so I think that concept works beyond that. I think, you know, whether it's supplies or work and rehearsal space or money, we have that stuff here and we just have to figure out how to source it. And in this digital age, I think that we can, you know, like I was talking about making our space available in downtime to artists or um, making some money available. You know, there's large grants out there and they're wonderful, but I think that because, um, you know, they're so difficult to get and they, they require such strong writing and often video and lots of time, I think it, they often wind up going to more established artists, which is fine, but I think, you know, for example, we're a small little nonprofit here. You know, we could never give a large grant to an artist, but could we part with $1,000 a year? Yeah, probably. So more mini grants is where I'm getting at. You know, I think that we could do that type of thing and lots of businesses and organizations could do mini grants and make more small funds available to more artists. And I think we might be, there's a lot of advantages to that. I think we might be more willing to take restrictions off that money, which would allow for more innovation and creativity to say, you know, there aren't really any rules attached to this. Just make it about local, make it about the fishing industry, or otherwise just have at it, you know? And I think a lot of businesses and individuals and, and you know, could do that and not rely so heavily on foundations mm -hmm. to support the arts, you know? So just kind of a, a we're all in it together kind of mentality. There was a, a funny story of, of this little town in Michigan that, uh, that all pulled their money, all the individual residents pulled their money and they wound up being able to give every student going to college $5,000 if they went to college in Michigan. It's the same kind of thing, you know, if everyone decided we're gonna support the arts, we could all give a little bit of money and lots of artists could be funded and artists know how to stretch a buck. You, know, you give an artist a mini grant, an artist can take 1,500 bucks and stretch that for months, so, you know. That's like awesome. Awesome. Gloucester exactly. yes, it is, is doing the same thing. Program. I think there's been a lot of talk of things like that. I'd like to see a group of artists and concerned citizens to come together and talk about incentives like you're talking about. One, one um, we were discussing was having like a parking beach sticker that was a special design sticker that everybody would just want and and they would pay five dollars more to put that support the arts and that five dollars would go into the arts budget because we're going to have to once this um, position is made within the city for a director of arts and culture the mass cultural council has already put in since we've started this initiative in 2003 1.7 million dollars and that came with a lot of matching funds and they keep they keep investing in us and we have to start turning that over and and making leveraging it by the way this is this, these are the kinds of things just what you're talking about whether the corporations can start opening up and maybe they get a tax incentive for opening up space um, the beach sticker kind of program um, having I mean I'm sure these are just the ones I'm coming up with but if we got a group of people together um, we could probably come up with some really interesting, just like you're talking about, is there's a lot of space that's not big space, but there's ways of creating those incentives. I think some of the, I, I think that there's so many um, things that are generated by people interested in the arts, by Law and Water Gallery, by Trident with their 
a series on dance that Sarah Slife the first thing I thought of in this space was Sarah Slifer being able to do something that was performance and being able to have it filmed in a wonderful space. I mean, that would be great.